So this is session five of our rock and our refuge. We know that in times of trouble, we need to find refuge. A ship facing a wild storm needs to go into a harbour where they'll get shelter. Or if we're caught in a blizzard, we need to find shelter while the blizzard lasts. In troubled times, where do we go for shelter? Romans 10, 13 says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. You need to think about what the name of God invokes in us. If I were to mention the name Al Capone, you would probably think mafia, crime. If you happened to live in Chicago at the time when he was around, it was probably fear. If I mention the name Mother Teresa, I imagine you'll think compassion, kindness, dedication. Well-known names invoke feelings. So what does the name of God invoke in us? Is he a stern figure who's looking down on us with disapproval? Is he a sort of a benign figure who doesn't really have much to do with our lives? Is he a figure that loves us so much that it doesn't matter what we do? Is he a God who is so holy that he wouldn't even look at us? Or is he a God who is an awesome and holy God yet loves each one of us and wants only the best for us? If we want to find shelter in God, we really need to know the God that we're seeking shelter in. Now, there are many references in scripture of God's reassurance not to fear because he's with us. Deuteronomy 34, Moses was speaking to Joshua as Joshua was about to take over the leadership of the people. And Moses said this, the Lord himself goes before you and he will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. In Matthew 10, Jesus says this, Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin? And not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father knowing. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. And Romans 8, 39. For I'm persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Our God is a God who is all powerful, he is holy, he is merciful, and he's loving. He said he will never leave us. We are precious to him, and if he knows when one single sparrow falls out of a tree, how much more does he care about what's happening to us? Because we are of much more value than a sparrow. And there's nothing in all creation that can separate us from his love. This is the God that we can go to for refuge. And that refuge is a place of peace, comfort, refreshing and strengthening. Psalm 121 is a good one to reflect on. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip, and he who watches over you will not slumber. And then further on, the Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. We can find shelter under the wings of a good and loving God. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Thunders roll. I will so we 